Hey guys, it's Natalie, aka Buttercup Budgets. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be counting up all the savings challenges I completed for the month of September that I've been storing in my Bluey lunchbox. Before I open this up and count everything, I wanted to open up some happy mail I received. So let's move my Bluey lunchbox out of the way and I will show you some packages I got. These are from Becca Budgets 777 and Bookish Mama Budgets. I did open these off camera just to make sure everything was okay and I took all of my address information out just so I wouldn't accidentally show it. But this one is from Becca Budget 777. The first scratch card I got was this Clue scratch card. I saw this on a couple people's channels. I can't remember who, but everyone's been playing this one. You find out the who, the what, the where, like the game of Clue with your scratch card. And I have FOMO, so I wanted to get it and find out for myself the who, what, and where for me. And that is a save, $75. And I have this Reindeer Games one, which is a mystery save, so I'm a little worried about that, but I'm sure these will be nice enough numbers, except for apparently Rudy is a doozy. So, that's scary. And then I have this little guy, this save $50. Just these cut out little ornaments that are really, really cute. I just love this one, so I got this one for my binder to save for Christmas as well. And then for freebies, she gave me this little IOU, little grumpy panda that says, I ain't doing it. Free little scratcher, just says, thank you for your order. Leaves are falling, autumn is calling. So those are probably small little numbers. And then this little save $25, I dare you. Okay, the next one is from Bookish Mullen Budgets, and I have a story for this one. I did open this to make sure everything was inside because this has had quite a journey. Um, it was missing for over a week. Lindsay mailed this to me just fine. It got to my city just fine, but my post office decided that my neighbor wanted it instead. So it showed delivered last Saturday, which I think is the 21st, September 21st, and I checked every day in the mailbox and it was empty. And I was like, oh God. I put in a missing mail um, request twice with the post office and they called me both times and they both asked me, was it delivered or not? And I'm like, no, <laughs> it wasn't delivered. And so really I've only been holding out hope that an honest neighbor would say, hey, I got your mail. And yesterday, so a week and a day after it was supposed to be delivered, my neighbor stopped my husband and was like, hey, I think I got your package. It's just been on my dining table. And my husband was like, oh yeah, my wife's been missing a package. So here it is. Um, you know, when I get someone else's mail, I just, you know, put the mail on their doorstep and ring the doorbell. But you know, what do I know? I guess we just, we just wait eight days to um, give the package back. But it's fine, at least they gave it back, but they did open it. They were like, yeah, we opened it before we realized, and I guess I can, you know, I guess I can believe that, but. Long story short, um, this one would have been part of my last happy mail, but it was, it was in limbo for a while, and now here it is. So, just in time for Halloween. I was so worried that this was going to be lost and show up, like, a week before Halloween, and then I'd have these to complete in, like, a week. But no, we got it. Okay, first I got this little haunted house scratcher. It's a save 40. How cute is that? And I got this little Christmas tree one. Save $60. This little Santa hugging, <laughs> hugging Lucy Grumpy Cat in there. Santa hugging all these animals is a save $35. And then these were free that she sent me. We have this little Christmas mermaids, it looks like, a save $35. This little, is this like a squishmallow bird? That's what it looks like, a little, little bird, save $35. And then these little groovy ghosts and pumpkins. It's a save 45. 
And then this was her Halloween mystery bundle. There's her business card. I got her Halloween mystery bundle and I was so worried I got all these Halloween themed items and I wouldn't have time to even play them, but my package came just in time. She gave me a little scratcher. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you for supporting my small shop. Grab your magic scratching wand and start savings. Enjoy, happy savings, Lindsay. She gave me this cute little IOU with a little wizard bear. This little guy, see he looks so jolly, but he's holding a skull, so that's a little, hmm, don't know if I trust this man. Oh, and a roll and save on the back. This little save, how much is that? One, two, three, that's a save 24. Cute. And a save 50. Oh, that's really pretty. How cute is that? All right, that is my happy mail. Very glad all of my packages made it safe and sound. All right, guys, it's time to count up what's in my bluey lunchbox for the month of September. This was a Christmas savings challenge. This was a self-care savings challenge. So I will be counting these towards my total, but I already know where they're going. All right, guys, this is my first ever video like this, so wish me luck, but let's get counting these totals. So this one should have saved $101. 20, 40, 65, 75, 80, 85, 90, 101. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, this one saved $80. So I'll make a little pile right here. 20, 40, 65, 75, 80. Be a little nutty from We Got This Studio. Was a save 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. Friends Forever from Becca Budget 777 was a save 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. This little fall one from Chatty Kathy Budgets was a save 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Fruit Squares from The Faithful Dash was a save $50. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25, 40, 45, 50. Fitness, more like fitness, whole cookie in my mouth. This was a challenge from Steps on a Budget. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. Hello Autumn was a collaboration between Julie's Pages and Weekly Budgets, and it was a save 20. This little groovy ghost was from Isabel on Etsy, and it was a save $30. This one will be going to Halloween, so this 30 will be counted up, but then put into the um, holidays binder or the holidays envelope. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Hello Autumn from Bookish Mama Budgets. 5, 10, 15, 20. Baby Koala from Saving with or Save with Sydney Bear on Etsy. This is Save 35. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Little strawberry with a surfboard was from the Faithful Dash and it was a save 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And last one was this Wizard of Oz one from Stefan Budget and it was a save 35. 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. For a total of $555. All right, guys, let's get this money organized and counted so we can just make sure that everything is correct. So we should have $555. Just to double check everything. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, plus 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, So 555 is the total. Okay guys, I went ahead and wrote out the categories that I want to reallocate this money towards for this month. So we're working with $555. Like I said, some of these challenges were um, for specific um, categories. So Christmas, it was $101. I am just going to make it $100. Let's subtract that $100. The Halloween savings challenge was $30. And my self-care challenge was $80. So we are working with $345 for these remaining categories. My first priority is getting my son's haircut. It is getting very long and in his eyes. I've been trimming his bangs, but he goes to a very nice lady who does a great job on his hair. And so I want to leave her a nice tip as well. So that's going to be $45. And then he has his own savings binder now, so I want to get um, I want to get started stuffing that with its own money. So it's going to get fifty. Okay. Shop small will be Etsy or Kofi um, for this month. I'm thinking about thirty dollars, maybe. I already bought quite a bit for Halloween and Christmas savings, so I might just buy small things like savings, uh, like mini Monday, mini savings challenges, or things like that. But I'll I'll allocate twenty, not twenty, thirty dollars for that, and see if that'll be enough for this month. Up next is clothing. Um, I might go back to work soon, I'm not sure, but I wanted to go back to my old job part-time, and if I go there, I will need jeans to wear, so I'm going to put $40 in here. Whether I go back to work or not, I do need clothes anywhere. anyway. I've been wearing my mom uniform, which is um, a raggedy old t-shirt and stretchy pants for two years, so my clothing... Um, 
My clothing is a little, little bare right now, so I do need clothes for myself anyway. Up next is gifts. Um, I just want to give it a little extra for October because I do have um, my dad's birthday and my mother-in-law's birthday. And then my husband mentioned a baby shower um, sometime this month as well. So we have some money and gifts, but I just want to give a little extra. So I'm going to give $20. Okay, and my birthday is next week. And so I want to have a little bit of money for myself. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's just to treat myself or buy myself a nice top or something like that. But I'm going to give myself $50. Okay, 110. Let's see, I'm gonna give Canva $10. And then HOA and fund. <laughs> Two very different things. Um, HOA, my HOA is 400 and, I think it's 450 a year but it's split between two payments. It might not be that much. I think it's 400, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put 40 towards HOA. And that leaves $60 for fun slash miscellaneous. Um, my friend does wanna go to the state fair. I went yesterday with my family, but my friend mentioned she wanted to go to the fair. So $60 probably won't get me very far at the fair, but um, maybe between this and a little bit of my birthday money, that'll be enough for me to enjoy the fair, at least for a few hours with my friend. And there we are, we're at zero. All right, guys. We're done counting up and reallocating the money for September. This is why we do mini savings challenges. Look at all that money. doesn't seem like much and then you stack it all together and you're like, wow, I've saved $555. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in my next video, which should be my cash stuffing. Bye.